So now that we've got Icon Restore installed, let's go ahead and get it set up. So you'll need to choose your language. This just gives you a little quick information about what Icon Restore can do and how you can do that. So click OK. And here is the actual program. So you can see just a few different settings here. Um, the main thing that you want to do is first set up your desktop how you want. So in this case, like we can move all the files around so that they're right next to each other. We can move like shortcuts here, icon restore, C burner. Move all these things around. So we've got everything kind of laid out how we want it, and we want to save the current desktop layout. You can type a little note here, so you can just do like random, or it can be like work setup or editing setup. So that way you kind of know what layout it is, and then click Save Current Desktop. So what this is doing is it's taking that snapshot and saving that information. So it's been saved, and so it's now it's in there. So we can go to Layouts, and we can see all the different layouts that we have. We can see when it was taken, and the screen resolution, and what we had the note as. So now, if I go and change the layout of the icons, they're no longer the same location. So we can go to Layouts here. We can select the layout and click Restore Selected Layout. Are you sure you want to do this? Click Yes, and it will put everything back where it was. So again, this is a good program to use if you are changing resolutions all the time, then you can set layouts for each resolution. If you're connecting to a projector, if you're docking to another monitor, things like that, this will help restore those icons. Um, so let me know how it works for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. Again, if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below and we'll try to make a video for you.